Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to another haul. Put me a bit too far back. It's very late now, so if I turn the light off, you have, yeah. So, the light needs to stay on. But I only have time to do this now, so. Here we are. Um, today, it's just PC games. There is nothing else in this. I just spat all over my camera. That's very awkward. Uh... Yeah, I bought another massive job lot on eBay, and instead of doing the whole thing on here as an opening, because about 60% of the games were wank, all those like puzzle games that I think are awful, so, uh, so yeah, I've already opened them, I already know what they are, but, you know, we're still going to go through these regardless. So, like I said, they're all PC, um... Some of them are quite big games, some of them are games I've never heard of before. So, let's start off with one I've never heard of called Star Wars Empire at War. Never heard of it, but it's like a Halo wars -y kind of game, it's quite cool. Take up the reins of the Rebellion and assume control of the Empire. Whichever you choose, like, so you can be either side. Conquer or liberate more than 80 grounded space locations, command iconic characters pit X-Wings against TIE Fighters or command an entire fleet sounds really cool and yeah I've never heard of it before but by the looks of it I didn't look it up or anything um, but by the looks of it it looks like a you know a Halo Warsy, Age of Empires kind of game you know that kind of commandy game so yeah next up Knights of the Old Republic on PC in the fattest case imaginable and it also comes with uh, four discs I don't know why there are four discs disc one play disc disc two disc three and disc five I don't really know I don't know why the, it needs four discs I'm not really sure what they do but yeah KOTOR, people love and admire this game with a passion um, I've actually played it on my phone I have it on mobile but I just never really got into it so maybe with PC and some uh, some mods I can get into it we'll see next up the original Assassin's Creed never played this actually still director's cut edition apparently I don't really know nice no, you got the code on the OG phones do you even remember them Jesus. But yeah, never played this, so we will get around to it. Alright, next up we have Resident Evil 5. I can't remember if I have this or not, but now I do. So, I didn't pay, this is this came in the box. I didn't buy this from CEX. Yeah, joined by his partner Shiva Alomar, and Agent Chris Redfield will soon learn the real meaning of fear. I don't know if it's scary. I don't know. So never really a big old fan of the Resident Evil series. I have tried to play the remake of Resident Evil 2. Um, I'll probably chuck the two videos I made of that up on uh, my second channel. Because it's like something I don't think I'm going to finish. Because it's just too... I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video on why I couldn't get into it. We'll see. Next up is a game I really want to get into, Left 4 Dead. I did not pay £30 for this. Like I said, this was all a big job lot, so, you know, these kind of prices, I didn't pay them. But yeah, Left 4 Dead. I still need to get Left 4 Dead 2. Because I don't own that one on PC yet. But I did enjoy Left 4 Dead. I wasn't kind of crazy on it, like, you know, a lot of people are, um... Like, I thought Back for Blood was okay. But, you know, the Horde shooters I enjoy. Like, I think World War Z was quite cool. And, you know, games like Warframe, you know, the Horde shooters. I love them. Warframe is one of my most played games of all time. So, yeah, Left 4 Dead. Definitely need to play through that. And I'm definitely going to play through that with mods as well. Because I know some of the custom maps are really cool. Hint to some, uh, some future playthroughs, maybe. Actually, while we're on... 
zombie games, we have the original, or the first, Dead Island. Game of the Year edition. So I really wanted to play through this, but instead I just played through it off, like, in my own time. And it took me about 12 hours, so... Maybe I'll play through Dead Island Riptide. It's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe I'll play through that on the second channel. I love Dead Island. I think Dead Island... And same with Dying Light. You know, very similar games. I thought Dead... Uh, not Dying Light, the first one, was better than the second one. I thought the second one was pretty meh. Um, but Dead Islands, I think, are really underrated. And, you know, graphically, they're not amazing. You know, they're just meh. But... It, I enjoy them. They're very cool. So yeah, maybe I'll play through this one again a bit later on. Um, because yeah, I've not long just done it. So, right next up, Hitman Codename Forty Seven. So, never played this before. This is a very old one. In fact, it's in one of these kind of cases, so you know it's going to be an old one. Sold out software. So I don't have much to say about this. I don't know much about the Hitman. Um, franchise or series so I could not comment any further but it's there same with the thing I've watched the movie it was alright 64 megabytes of RAM that's all this thing takes but yeah I don't know anything about this one either so I can't really comment about it it doesn't even have a manual so not expecting big things from that but I didn't have it so Age of Empires Collector's Edition. I love Age of Empires. And I still can't remember what the Age of Empires game I played was. Stone Age to Iron Age. I played... There's no menu in that. I played a ton of Age of Empires. At one point. But I can't remember which one it was. And there's a few of them out now. So... I will play through some kind of Age of Empires game, and I really want to play through the Settlers games. So, we're definitely going to get to that. Empire Earth 3 is another kind of Age of Empires game. Build an empire to last throughout all ages. Create a lasting empire in a continuous campaign that covers the entire Earth. So, I've never heard of this one before. But, uh... If you've ever heard of it, let me know, because I can't comment. And then we have Empire Earth, the first one. So there's a two. We don't have two yet. This one does look very old. Just looking at some of that art. Don't know if that's going to be enough of focus for you, but... Yeah. It's one of those old kind of cases. Sold out software. Well. Wow. Right. Delta Force Land Warrior. A super old looking game. Will I ever play it? Maybe not. We'll see. I can't comment because I know nothing about it. Crisis 2, however, I do know a little bit about. The series, not the game actually. Crisis 2 I don't think I've played. It's a series I want to play through. Um, I actually did play... I can't remember if I played the multiplayer for Crisis or not. Maybe it's not Crisis. I can't remember. But anyway, Crisis 2. If my PC can run it. Alright. Not many left to go now. We've got some meh ones and we've got some not meh ones. So we have a game here called Crusader Kings 2. It does come with a lot of stuff. It comes with cheat codes. It's not every day you get that. So yeah, I don't know what this game's going to be about. To be honest with you, it doesn't look like my kind of game because it looks like uh, a game that you don't actually play. You just have to kind of manage things and, you know, those games to me really suck. So, we shall see. King Arthur 2? Question mark? Enter the dark fantasy world of Britannia. King Arthur is now the maimed king. Struggling to restore his ravaged lands. Stunning 3D campaign map. Fat manual. Also comes with a list of cheat codes. 
my sheet that you're not supposed to see. Yeah, I know nothing about this. So if you do, let me know. Right, a game that doesn't really need much of an explanation. We have Skyrim, the original Skyrim. Um, I need to buy the special edition on PC. I don't need to buy it. I do. I actually want to play it. I'm currently playing through this on PS5. I might leave it a little bit and then play it with mods. Cause same with Fallout. I really want to play all the Fallouts with mods. I just need to get them to work. All right, one that I'm not going to talk about is Goofy Skateboarding because it was in there and I thought that's just so bad that it's going to be good. But yeah, I don't like Disney, but if I did, Goofy would be one of my favourite characters. Commandos 2. don't know anything about it. Sold out games, probably really bad. If you know anything about it, let me know. All right. One, well, four more, but some of these are kind of a... I don't really know what to call them. Plants vs. Zombies. The first one. I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. Um, I always think this looks like... A, a mobile def tower defense kind of game. So, yeah, I don't know much about it. I never really played it as a kid. And three games here that I thought were just... They're in these really cool cases, so... Virtua Fighter, never going to play it. Showcase Pool and Sega Rally Championship. I know nothing about them, but they're in these really thin cases and I think they look quite cool. So that's all I'm going to say on them. So yeah, there we go. That's all of the PC games in this haul. And that's it for a while now. Um, Payday's in a few days or a few weeks time as of recording this. So, I mean, I've got tons of these to go up still, you know. How it is. Oh, actually, just quickly, I want to chuck these in here. So I managed to get, I subscribed to two of them, the gaming magazines that I watch. You know, a lot of you have seen, I subscribe to PC Gamer and Play. Uh, they're the only two gaming magazines that I can kind of, I mean, there is a few more now, but they're kind of like the main one. Xbox don't do one. Or at least they don't sell them here that I'm aware of. But I subscribed to them at the start of the year. So that I'd obviously have the year's worth. And their Christmas deal. They chucked these in. And this is quite cool. So I already have a Venom docking stage. A docking station. But this one is in, uh, it's in purple. Or is it pink? It's like a pinky purple. I don't really know what kind of colour that is. But... Caitlin can have that because I don't need it. And an LED stand. Now, I wouldn't be able to use this at the moment because my PlayStation's kind of hidden in the cupboard. So, I wouldn't be able to show this off. But when I eventually get my own place, I'm going to set up in this because this ha looks really cool. And, you know, I love RGB. I love LED lights. And I really want to... It's the one thing I'm really looking forward to um, when I move out. Eventually, is having my own little kind of cave that I can dedicate to just gaming and showing off my collection. Because at the minute, it's all kind of sitting in front of each other because there's not enough space. And blah, 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 you don't want to hear that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to kind of moving out eventually and getting my own place. And really spending some time with it. But yeah, there we go. We're definitely... Uh, we're definitely gamers. So, I think out of this, the thing I'm looking forward to playing the most is probably... Um, maybe Empire at War, I think. Star Wars, Age of Empires. Age of Empires is a good shout. Left 4 Dead, I'm looking forward to playing, especially with mods. But, you know, there's a lot of games here. I have My backlog is rammed royally. But, yeah, there you guys go. Please... Leave a like down below if you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if there's anything here you'd like to see. You know, apart from goofy skateboarding, I don't think I'm going to make a video on that. Unless, unless you'd like to see some goofy skateboarding, because <laughs> I'll do it if you want it. Um, yeah, links to all of my social medias in the description box down below. If there's anything you'd like to see or suggest, let me know in the comments section or private Discord. Or DM me on Instagram. You know, there's a few ways to reach me. All of the links are below. Subscribe if you're new around here. We make 
all kinds of gaming videos from builds to guides to playthroughs to hauls and unboxings you know we love it um i have a lot of plans in 2023 i really want to you know do a lot this year and yeah <clears throat> so it's been your boy hope you have enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next one